What's up, child? This is your boy, Mine Lewis, and today I'm going to tell you three scary things that had happened to me in Mexico. Okay, so the first thing that was pretty, like, it wasn't scary, scary, but it made me think, like, oh, is when I got robbed, okay? So basically, I was in Puerto Morelos at the time. Puerto Morelos was the pl first place I lived in Mexico because I felt that Puerto Morelos was the safest town to live in out of Quintana Roo. And it really is, even though I got robbed. It is, I still say it's the safest town. If they're still not burning wood over there, and I'll get into that later. I lived in a residential area, right? And I never, I have a habit of not really fully locking my bicycle. And I would say that partially it is my fault, but regardless, this if it was locked, they were still going to steal it because my neighbor's bicycle also got stolen, two of them. So this is how they did it, because all residential homes in Mexico that I know of have cameras, that I know of, okay? So the one in Puerto Morelos had cameras. It was pretty, it's pretty good. Like, you could tell who walks in, walks out, etc. If you want to see the footage, they're going to show you. In this instance, they didn't go through the front, which I was hoping they did, which tells me that they probably scooped out the area or maybe someone told them that there's cameras. I don't know. Most residential homes have like a brick wall with barbed wire on the top so no one can climb over or electric fence. This place had um, a fence, a gate thing, and the little, you know, the wires with the little sharp thing so you can't climb over it. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what it is. So, they basically, what they did right, they got some type of cutting tool to cut through the gate. By the way, when I say gate, I mean wire fence. So they went through there, took the bicycle, my bicycle, which wasn't locked, an easy pick. And then my neighbor's bicycle, which had really good security lock. I don't even know how they cut through his one. And they took... His and his wife's uh, bicycles, they got the bike, they had to be more than one person. No way one person's carrying three bicycles on his back. They got three bicycles and went through the jungle, guys. They went through the jungle with bicycles, which tells me they had to carry that ish on their damn backs. I was like, whoa, people would do anything for a damn bicycle. Unfortunately, there was no camera within that area, so no one could see anything, which really sucked. The neighbor went to the police. I didn't even bother going to the police. I'm like, what are the police going to do? I don't even remember what my bike looks like at this point. Like, I, I'm like, the police are not going to do anything. I felt like with me, I was going to have a look at the shops that were selling bicycles to see if they would sell them there or repaint them because I was like once I find someone riding my bike I'm gonna find out who sold them that bike and I'm gonna beat them up like I was just so annoyed because it was like man I don't want to have to go and buy another bicycle and because that bicycle it took me a while to adjust to get it used to what I liked and stuff so I was like man I don't want to do all that so I was like geez I was just like whatever but it just made me think like wow someone could really come into my place and rub it you're not really safe in a residential place, you know? But even then, I feel like my home, inside my home, I was safe, but like, my items, like a bicycle or a car, you know, you may never know, but I felt like, I don't think a car would get stolen because then you can easily track that. You hope so. But a bicycle is an easy pick, especially if you don't have any tracking on it. So my next one I'm gonna tell you guys is the time uh, okay, this happened a few times, and this happened in Puerto Morelos too. Yeah. There were guys that would stop on the on the side of the road in their car near me, and I'm like, oh crap! Like, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna jump out? Like, what's going on? And they were just trying to get some the whole time. They were trying to get some. I'm just like, oh my god! Like, I'm like, why is he stopping? Why is he looking at me? And the whole time they were just trying to get some action. Yes, the dudes. In, I never had this in like play in the Carmen Cancun. It's always been Puerto Morelos. There's a lot of DL men on in Puerto Morelos. For you guys that don't know what a DL is, it's another word for men in the closet, a guy who likes men and is not open about it. Um, and this one time, there was a drunk guy. I was like, uh-oh. I wasn't sure what was going on. I didn't understand Spanish as well as I do now a little bit. And he was speaking to me, and I'm like, lo siento, no hablo español. And he's like, you like 
you want some? Like, I was like, oh my god, man, this dude trying to pick me up and he's drunk. And I'm like, nah, bro, go back to your wife. Like, I was just like, what the hell? At first, I didn't know, like, what is he trying to do? I better be careful. Is he trying to rob me? It was just that, I ain't gonna lie, that was a little bit like, what the hell? Until I, eventually, I was like, okay. I look good, so you know, of course people want to approach me, talk to me, and these dudes want to step in the side of the road for me. Now my next one, and this one was more frightening, was when they were illegally burning in Puerto Morelos. And this doesn't just happen in Puerto Morelos. This also happens in Playa de Carmen, which I've noticed. If you live more on the colonial side, you are most, most likely going to notice. It's, it's like a burning smell. It's like not nice and it's not plastic. It's when they burn more land to build properties. And the way they do it is actually illegal. It's very unhealthy for you, your body, your chest. You can get respiratory issues. You can even develop cancer and a lot of other issues by breathing in the smoke. So it's really sad that they're not really being active on it. What I loved about Puerto Morelos though, it was the only town that I knew that was active. There were people having meetings getting them to sign petitions and eventually it stopped in Puerto Morelos. I don't know if they're still doing it, but it was such a disappointment when I first came there because the condo I was living in had like a, like air can come into your house in these little vent things in the side that's meant to be like the laundry and it just comes into your house and one night it was really hard for me to breathe. It was so bad. You go outside, it was smoky. I had to get a Airbnb on the beach and not everyone's that lucky. Not everyone was that lucky. Like some people don't even have AC. They leave their windows open to have cool air come in. And for them to breathe that in, I felt so sad for the people in that town to have to deal with that. It was ridiculous that they have to deal with that. They shouldn't have to deal with that. And it was scary, man, because I was like, oh my God, my chest, what's going on? My chest wasn't right. And um, it's one of the reasons why I left Thailand, you know, because of the air quality and, change and plus visa options. So I was like, I bolted to the beach and you can walk on the street outside. It was like smoky everywhere. It was foggy and it was just so bad. And it's like, man, this is something that we shouldn't have to deal with. And it's just because these people want to build, you know, want to do the uh, less, uh, less cost, cost effective and quicker way to build apartments and stuff. And they still do it in Playa de Carmen. And some of the stuff in these new buildings that are built, they that, that smell still comes in. I was in um, La Garajada. I don't know how to pronounce that city. I'll put the name here. And I was in like a new building there, right? And that smell was there too. And I'm like, this is weird. I'm in a city where they like, where's this smell coming from? And it basically seeped into the house, even though all the windows and everything was closed. And that was like, this is not good. Like, I left that city real quick because I was not feeling well. And now I had to deal with this smoke that was coming in. It was ridiculous. But yeah, that is pretty frightening because when you know about the consequences of breathing that in, that shit is not good sitting on my conscience going, oh, damn, I just breathed all this shit in because I want to make some money and not consider it about the people that live nearby, you know? And it's really bad for the environment, bad for the animals. So hopefully... They really, you know, put their foot down on that because I feel like, I don't know, it's just really ridiculous that they're still, they still do that and get away with doing it, especially in Play of the Carmen. There was one time in Play of the Carmen, right, that it got so bad that like it, there was smoke everywhere and I was like, oh my God, I dealt with this in Puerto Morelos and now it's here. And it, it's just crazy. And it still happens to this day. I feel like they, they focus a little bit where the wind is blowing and they try to burn it so the wind doesn't hit the city and they don't get in trouble. But it's really sad that they're really getting away with this and affecting people's health by doing so. Now, the fourth thing that's really scary is that when you're getting dressed, you might have a monkey peeping at you through the windows. <laughs> oh, he's full on peeping. <laughs> Anyway guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification, smash that like button. I will be uploading more travel videos, travel type of vlog type of videos like this. 
um, on my channel, okay? So I really wanna keep in touch with you guys and share my journey with you guys and even share your journeys, you know? At the moment, I am in Ecuador and I'm looking for a new place to live. Um, I might stay here or I might go back to Mexico. I'm still undecided, but I'm definitely gonna be making videos on that. And I'll see you next Monday on another video. Peace.